we're going to say on. Hey, I'm Captain Scott Lum with Outcast Sport Fishing Charters. Uh, my website is centralfloridacharters.com. And uh, out of Fort Canaveral, we get these large fish called triple tail. They're quite prehistoric. Um, they've got really large scales, and they're probably one of the most difficult fish to fillet. Um, I'm here to illustrate this new knife I have. It's called a bubble blade. It comes with this awesome sheet. But uh, I'm not sure which model I have here. Uh, this is the 9-inch stiff blade, bubble blade. So I'm going to pretty much uh, show you guys how we play these triple tail and pretty much make short work of it with these bubble blades. But uh, these things have like armor. But the one thing I like about this bubble blade is it's super stiff and it just cuts through these, these uh, scales like nothing. I mean you can see these giant scales here. They dull your knife quite quickly. And this bubble blade actually stays really sharp. Um, I like the, this big knife too for the larger fish that we catch, whether they're large cobias. Um, I've actually filleted big uh, yellowfin tunas as well with it. Um, and basically, you know, with a triple tail, you want to just go down the spine here. And then much work it through there. There's a hard part right here, I like to push up underneath like that. But once again, this knife is so strong, it just cuts right through it. When it gets this far, I gotta kind of push the fish back against something because I need a little leverage. You're done happy for it? And uh, just go around the rib cage here. I like to cut one side. Very like important because if he takes that fillet off that side, it lays down this way and it doesn't fillet as easy on this side. That you know what you're doing. Very interesting. You know, you see people take the first fillet off and they don't realize they're changing the shape of yeah, the fish. It, it doesn't lay level it anymore. It doesn't lay flat. It doesn't lay flat anymore. What happens is you get a great cut on the first side, yeah, and, and, then, the and then the second one, side and the second you one, you leave this yeah. much meat in the cup yeah. on this side. Uh, we're illustrating this new knife I have called a bubble blade. It's a pretty darn good knife. And these fish, like I said, are, are very difficult What's fish to fillet. My name's Captain Scott Lum. I'm like doing a little video you. for YouTube like right now. Captain but... Scott, once it runs on YouTube, send me the link and I'll okay. have 300,000 people watching it. Okay? Right on. We have my fishing magazine. I'll give you uh, one of my cards yeah, as well. There. And as I was talking about the triple tail, we have nice 12 of the 19 IGFA world records on triple tail out of Port really? Canaveral. Not, not me personally, just uh, Port Canaveral. And this is the part where I got The biggest one. one I ever saw was about two years ago when it was under a piece of, under wood, under a piece of plywood on the Gulf Coast. Swimming around by a piece of plywood, the size of a freaking Volkswagen. It's a nice triple tip. Yep, these are one of the best eating fish there are as well. There's some rib bones right in here you have to cut through, and this blade cuts right through them pretty, pretty well, pretty easily. Scales are like armor. Be careful now. Don't see anybody get hurt. Right? This thing's a machete. Yo. And then, uh, these fish as well, if you're inclined to and you know how to do it, they have a quite large piece of cheek meat. 
and you want a knife that you can get in there and scoop out the, the whole cheek. And the cool thing about when you get this far, you just put your fingers through here and this, the skin pulls right off the cheek. And then you get that nice big hunk of meat right there. It's like a big scallop. And then once again, do the same thing on this side. A sharp knife is really key, especially for doing this. get down in there you just scoop it out use the uh, use the run, run your knife against that hard part and just cut it off um, I like to uh, check the gut there's a biologist I work with out of Brunswick that implants transmitter tags and it uh, looks like the thing, uh, maybe the size of a tube of lipstick. I like to check the cavity, make sure there's uh, no transmitter in there. They learn a lot about these fish and where they go and how fast they grow. This is probably a 20 plus pounder. And then uh, pitch the carcass. And uh, there you have it. There's the nice big clean fillets that we got using this bubble blade. And you can see these gigantic scales. I mean, they're super hard. And uh, there you go. Get yourself a bubble blade. Thanks very much.